guys and welcome to today's February favourites video. I am so excited to tell you that I am going to be doing a meetup. This is the first meetup that I've actually done on my own here in the UK so I'm really nervous but I'm also so excited to meet some of you guys. So basically it's going to be next Thursday the 12th of March from 6 to 8 p.m and it's going to be on the Bobby Brown counter in the John Lewis store on Oxford Street. That's such a mouthful. I was trying to get all of that out. I am going to put all of these details below and basically 45 of you, you need to email and it's first come first serve. So quickly send an email or get a friend to send the email if you can't make it um, and they can come as well on your behalf because you're going to get loads of freebies as well. And I'm just so excited about meeting you guys. I have never, as I said, done this before and I am just really overly excited that I don't even know what to say at this point. So basically I'm going to be doing it with Bobby Brown on their counter. They've actually launched a new foundation called the Intensive Skin Serum Foundation SPF 40. I'm going to put a link to a video below which is talking me about reviewing this video, uh, this foundation and what I thought of the foundation. It's beautiful, they basically, the idea behind it is skincare meets makeup, so they've got the serum in it which gives your skin radiance and makes your skin just feel actual nice. Sometimes I put foundation on and it doesn't feel that nice, so this is giving you the skincare and then the makeup side of it. You know that I'm a bit of a sucker for anything that gives me a really good coverage. I always choose a foundation that gives me a slightly better coverage and this leaves my skin flawless. So I was really glad that it was like a beautifully kind of package and also it's like a pipette serum but then gives you that flawless foundation. I actually put a little bit of powder over the top of it as well. It's got really nice things in like lychee. I don't know if you've ever heard of that but I actually eat those at home. So they're a fruit and it just smells beautiful. It looks beautiful and I'm so excited. On the night, we're going to be doing a Q&A and talking about makeup, chatting all things girly and makeup, and you're actually going to get a week's supply of this foundation. So everybody that comes, you're going to get a goodie bag, and then you're going to, they're going to colour match your skin specifically. So if your friend is coming, maybe send them a photo of your skin, and um, then they're going to give you a week's supply of this, and a makeup brush as well. So you're going to get loads of stuff, we'll chat, we'll probably be there beyond date, because you know how much I talk. So, um, and then also their pro makeup artist Hannah Martin is going to be there who is an absolute babe I love her and she is just incredible so she can help you with all your makeup answer questions that you have as well so she's going to be there so I'm so excited I'm going to put all of that below the video and also all the details for how you can get involved in that meetup and I just want to say a massive thank you to Bobby Brown for making this happen as well because you guys always ask me to do meetups I'm never quite sure how to do it in the right way so to have somewhere that we can all go and you can bring a parent they can wait outside for you if you want or whatever that is so it's just a really nice way to do this and I am so excited about this it's almost here so um, I'm going to talk about a couple of my other monthly favourites as well before I just pop with excitement about that meetup um, so the first thing that I have been loving is this Primark bag. I actually got this during Fashion Week when I was in London and so many people were asking me. I, I always get intimidated by Fashion Week because everybody wears stuff that's really fashionable and I'm not really a fashion follower, as you know. Um, so I had so many comments on this bag. Everybody was asking me where it was from and I was like, it's Primark. So everybody had their designer clothes on and I was just rocking Primark. Also, this necklace is from Primark. I got that as well. So I've been using this bag every single single day since. I loved the neon colours. I think it's a limited edition so it was around £15 for the bag or £20 but it was amazing and it's massive so I can fit everything in it. Okay next up I want to tell you about a fake tan which is actually a brand new release and it's amazing because it smells amazing. This is Bondi Sands. It's actually an Australian tan so it's done really well over in Australia and now they've come to the UK. So it's a really established brand but I'd never heard of it before here and then it's literally in Superdrug now. This is so good. If you hate the smell of fake tan, this is coconut. So Oh, it's like I rave about this cocoa body butter and this is literally the same smell. This is the lotion and then this is the foam and I can't decide which one I like most so I actually use them both, not at the same time but I alternate. This is the light medium one and this is the darker one. This is the foam kind of spray on one. It glides on beautifully, the colour is 
absolutely amazing. The staying power is so good. And I told my sister about this. I was like, you have to try this new tan. She literally, if you watch her videos, Holly Sheeran, I'll link her channel below as well. She wears tan all the time. She's like, literally the hardest person to please a tank she knows it so well and she knows what she loves and what she doesn't and she tried this and she loved it and I have to say the colour looked so nice on her so I would definitely in the build up to the summer get our legs out <laughs> so the tan is coming out now so I wanted to tell you about that as well and it's in the drugstore it's in super drug so it's not too expensive either okay the next thing I wanted to tell you about is a skincare brand that is called I hope I say this right, Aurelia, 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 possibly, and I think I've definitely pronounced that wrong, so I'm so sorry, and basically, this was so random, but I bumped into one of you guys, if you're watching, I don't know if you are, I was in Liberties, or Liberty in London, having afternoon tea, and I bumped into one of you guys, and it was so nice to meet you, and she told me all about this skincare, which you can buy in Liberties in London, or you can get it online, and I'd never heard of it before, so I wanted to try out a couple of the bits and bobs, and I was so, so impressed by it, so I wanted to tell you guys, I love your recommendations by the way, anytime you can tell me stuff as well back, it's nice, because I usually go out and get it, and this is, I want. I wanted to talk about two of my kind of staple products from the range, because I've tried their moisturisers as well, which is really nice, Nice. This is the Miracle Cleanser and the Refine and Polish Miracle Balm, which is basically a scrub. So if you love the smell of eucalyptus, you will absolutely fall in love with this cleanser. It's a cream cleanser. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. <laughs> the smell. It's just, I'm just hooked. It's gorgeous. It's got things like chamomile, rosemary. It's amazing. It literally, you put it on, it melts your makeup off. If you like the Soap and Glory Hot Cloth Cleanser, it's basically a really nice luxury version of that. This I do prefer this one, but obviously it's more expensive. And you get a hot cloth as well, and you just melt the makeup off. It is amazing. I was having a really bad skin month, and my skin, fingers crossed, has been really good as well using this. And then this is the Refine and Polish Miracle Balm, which again has exactly the same ingredients as that one. So if you love the smell of eucalyptus and chamomile, then you will love this. It's a kind of medium scrub. I wouldn't say it's a very harsh scrub at all, um, it's really fine, it's almost quite waxy as well, it's definitely a lot more moisturising than I've tried for a scrub and at first when I put it on I didn't think I was going to like it and then when I washed it off my skin felt so moisturised afterwards which is one of my pet hates about scrubs because they usually leave my skin feeling dry, so two things that I just had to rave about. Um, the second thing, no that's not the second, where am I picking a second one? Because I'm so excited about this meetup. Um, the next thing is some body shop makeup this is the lightning touch pen and during fashion week i actually got to go to body, um fashion scout and body shop did all of the makeup for the models that were on the catwalk every time i saw one of the girls walk past me i was obsessed because they had this beautiful highlighter on their face and all everyone was talking about at fashion scout was what is this highlighter and it's this the lightning touch i went up to one of the girls i was like what is this what are you wearing on your face and it's absolutely stunning this is probably my favorite cream highlighter that I own. I did a tutorial of this and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. You can get um, the Lightning Touch as a concealer as well but this is the highlighter and it just looks stunning. I have to say I'm a massive fan of their body products. I hadn't tried loads of their makeup until fashion week and now I'm hooked. I carry that around in my bag along with the concealer I have over there in my bag as well and what else do I love? Oh there's a lip pencil as well that's like a bar. It's a cheek stain as well. I could go on forever about that makeup but maybe in another monthly favourites. Anyway, that for now is really good. Next, I want to talk about a candle that's behind me. It's actually my twig and dot candle and I've been burning it almost every day this month. It's actually the limoncello one and it smells incredible. These candles are hand poured so they are super luxury, so so beautiful. The thing that I like about this, it actually only has one wick and a lot of the candles I have, I have more than one wick this burns so incredibly well sometimes with a one wick candle I get so annoyed because it doesn't burn right round and this one does the second thing why I love it is that when you walk into a room and it's burning it smells so good sometimes when I get candles I can barely smell them so this one is like really strong scented and just burns so well so that's been you can't really see it but I'm gonna do a close-up of it behind me and I'm obsessed so I cannot wait to try some more of those candles um next up tea i am obsessed with twinings intensely buttermint tea 
credit tier to Fleur because I there aren't many teas that I haven't tried and Fleur was like have you tried the butter mint tea? I was like no what is this? and um Oh, it's amazing, it smells like a humbug. If you love humbug sweets, you will love this tea. Every time people have tried to go to buy it, in fact, I don't think Fleur could get hold of it after she told me, so I got it and then gave us a couple of sachets because it's so popular, once you try it, it will probably become one of your favorite teas. I don't actually add milk to that. I just keep it on its own and it's just amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. And then, because I've rambled on for ages, um, second to last, that was right in terms of second, this Barry M nail polish. This is in Starlet. I hope this is not a limited edition one because it's absolutely amazing. Usually when they have a different colour top it's a limited edition, but I bought this a few weeks ago from Boots and it's amazing it's literally like barbie sparkly barbie or like sparkly sherbet in a pot i actually put three layers of this on two layers is absolutely fine i wanted the full whammy three layers and i had this on for about five days and it was chip free i don't have it on the moment i'm going to paint my nails before i do my close-ups and so you can see what this looks like and it's just so sparkly and so nice you don't need a top coat either and then last but not least my vo5 plump it up dry back combing spray i did a video recently which was recreating i won't say retora and i don't know why i've said her it's paloma faith when she went to the brits and i gave this a try to try and get the lift she had an insanely like a big not beehive but like lift so i used this back combing spray and i absolutely am obsessed with it i spray it i do a couple of back combs and then literally put my hair back and i was so so impressed by this spray so that's the end of my favorites video and don't forget to go and send that email now you need to send that email um, to get a place at the meetup and I am so excited massive hugs when I see you there's gonna be loads of hugging loads of kind of chat around makeup so I am so excited to meet you and yeah that's that's it I'm just so excited so I will see some of you next week and I will see the rest of you in my next video bye guys